Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great Saturday and a great weekend. Well, I got something just a little bit different today. So as you can see, it is the Asian landscape uh, that I got from Fan Cells and I'm using number 413 and I, this is the top of the whole picture so that everything's like upside down so this is where we're stitching today so I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and also to commemorate uh, uh, World Cross Stitch Day I don't know that it was yesterday or today I yeah but we're gonna call it World Cross Stitch Weekend as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah. Let me see if I can pull you in a little bit. So you can see what is going on. So I did look up cross stitch. And the history of cross stitch. And you can do the same. On your phone, computer. Comes up with a lot of things. So I had wrote down some fun facts about cross stitch or you know the history thereof so I found out that the oldest cross stitch in the United States was from 1853 and it is in the Plymouth Hall in Plymouth Massachusetts it was stitched by the daughter of Captain Mild, Miles Standish. And her name was L-O-A-R-A. I don't know how that's pronounced. Standish. But it looked really close to my name, so I went with it, right? My goodness. And... She was also a pioneer of the Leviathan stitch. I'm not sure what that is. I didn't look up Leviathan stitch. But you're more than welcome to do research on your own. I'm just stating what I found. And let's see. Cross stitch flourished during the Tang Dynasty in China during 618 and 906 AD and it was spread from there through the trade routes I'm assuming I don't know that the Silk Road was in existence then or if Kublai or Genghis started the Silk Road but as history says, the Silk Road has always been there. Now, the oldest, I guess, surviving in the world was stitched by Jane, B-O-S-T-O-C-K-E. I don't know if that's Bostock or Bostocky. And it was commemorating the birth of a child, Alice Lee, who was her cousin. And the cousin was born in 1596, and this was stitched in 1598. I will put a picture here. All right. And... Some of the, the handworks were found even in the tombs of Egypt. They were found in the 1860s. By whom? I'm not sure. So, and that, that includes all handwork. I mean, as far as embroidery, cross-stitch, what... It, it was on Egyptian costumes and their clothing, that kind of thing, 
as well as in India and China, of course. And King Henry's wife, first wife, Catherine of Aragon, brought cross-stitch uh, and black work to England. Uh, in 1509. So I thought that was just kind of interesting. Oh, and did you know that in 1600 to 1800 is when, I know there's a specific date, but I, for the life of me, can't remember, was when uh, Anchor and DMC Thread was founded. So yeah, just just fun little things. Oh, and in 1608 to 900 AD, embroidery work was used in China and Russia as trade goods. So I thought that was just pretty neat. There is a tapestry, now this is 900 to 1100 A.D., and there is a famous tapestry. I don't know what it looks like, not a clue. B-A-Y-E-U-X tapestry that depicted in Britain in 1066 A.D., that included under and over stitch and cross stitch. So we are part of that legacy. You know, things changed. There were times when you couldn't get thread or material because of wars. Things were rationed. And there's even some examples of cross-stitch that were done by soldiers during World War One and, War, no, this was World War Two, using the threads from either clothing or the bed sheets in POW camps. So... Yeah. So it just seems like when I researched this that cross stitch and embroidery and handwork like that has always, always been there as a stable. And I was shocked to read that. Hang on, I gotta have. Oh, we have jasmine tea today. It's green tea with jasmine, sorry, because it's raining outside. And now I've forgotten what I was going to say. Oh, yes. We were talking about cross-stitch. Um, yeah, I know that part. Um, that there was kind of a decline during the 1800s in doing cross-stitch. I think that materials and things were not available. And... It wasn't until, well, after you got past the First and Second War, World War, that is, you know, things became more available, but uh, it, their resurgence didn't even happen until 1960, after it kind of de declined in the 1800s, so I, I don't know. I guess it, life factors into all that, you know. So it was just interesting. I hope you find all that information interesting. I had to make sure my camera was still on. I was like, oh no. So I worked on this a little bit last night. 
before my eyes just totally went buggy, I put in that reddish, dark reddish color. And I don't remember. It's too dark to be. Oh, yeah, it was 154 is what it was. So, I was going to say it's too dark to be 498. So, I stitched on that a while. Stitched on something else, but I cannot remember what it was. I, uh, I don't know if I was working on the, the orange thing. The, the one I started yesterday. With the lotus, so-called lotus blossoms. Oh, I know what I worked on. Never mind. I w did work on that for a while. But then I went to the Red Pagoda. That I started a couple months ago. I'm trying to find my pin cushion. This thing's pretty wide. It's 55 by 95. So it's kind of consuming like six inches on each side of where you're seeing me stitch. So needless to say, it's running into a couple things. Yeah, I woke up. Didn't get up until nine o'clock this morning. Uh, I'm not sure why. And I didn't have too much going on this morning. I mean, as far as that goes, or any place I actually had to be. But it was just raining to beat the band. Now, it started pouring last night mm, about midnight-ish. Somewhere in there, 1 o'clock. I didn't go to bed until 2.30. Yeah. Couldn't stop stitching. What can I say? Although I knew I was tired, I hope I got everything in the right, you know, on the right symbol. Some days are like that. I've stitched pretty much all day yesterday. Off and on on different things. Didn't watch anything fantastic on Netflix. Watched some YouTube. But yeah, it's still raining out there. And there are huge lakes of puddles. Monday, I have to go to work at 9 o'clock instead of 10. Um, because the boss has to... Some personal things that she has to do. So, I uh, wanted to go early. So, she'll open the store and... Then I will um, just take over and she'll leave and I'll run the thing until the other girl gets there. She's got an appointment on Monday morning, so she might not get there until oh, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, something like that. So, yay. I think I'll get out something warm for dinner. I don't know. I do have potatoes in there, and I possibly have onion. So I could make some potato and onion soup, because that sounds really good for a cold, drippy day. Doesn't it? Potato and onion soup with butter in it. Mm. That's why I'm drinking tea today. I got my package from Amazon, so I got that taken care of. I'm just glad it's all here, so I did spend some time reorganizing some of these cross stitches and, you know, like, I'm making bags with multiple things in them, because otherwise we'll just, it's... A waste and I got the big ones next week I will order some of the uh, 
the neck size down. I think they're A3s. Uh, I'm not sure how that all goes, but I got the big one, so now I need the next step down. So I'll have to order those next week. And everything. I didn't order anything else. Sort of my tea. Yeah, oh, yeah, and my big blow dryer. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. It's nice to have a blow dryer in the winter. Can't stand going to bed with cold hair. Just drives me crazy. I even turned the heat on today. Just because it was a bit damp. -y. And I guess it's going to do this all day. I, I got nothing. I mean, I'm at 11.30 right now. And it's still raining. And there's a chance of rain for the next... We'll call it two or three days, you know. Subject to change, because that's the way Colorado is. Wait five minutes and it'll change. But I feel sorry for those people that are at that festival. Having to... Hopefully they have, like... What do you call them? I want to say canopies. Over their, their stuff. So I don't know... How much traipsing around people will get. So. I, I have no idea. Or no inclination to. Oh I forgot my. What did I do with it? Oh crap. Oh crap. Hang on. There will be a hot moment. What did I do with it? Oh here it is. Whew. My pimple. I noticed when I ran the the thing into it, the needle into my finger, I didn't have my thimble on. I took it off because I can't seem to function to thread needles with that silicone thimble on. Oh, ay, ay, ay. It just gets in my way still. So, what's everybody doing this weekend? Are you getting some reprieve from uh, all the the heat where you're at? Just can't believe how hot been this summer. <sighs> Get a hold of it before it decides to leave that needle again. There we go. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of coming along okay. It does have some uh, confetti sprinkled without, so I'm just doing working on the bigger parts here. Then I'll go back or catch those stitches. Um, you know, like oh, I got one of those or one of those or one of those. I'll get them as I go. But I'll stitch the bigger areas if I can. My hair, Chubby's hair. Holy cow. The cat has a new wrinkle. Now she needs to be petted when I lay down to go to sleep. Yeah. This has been an every night thing. But, you know, I can't walk up to her and pet her. No. Okay. Hair, go away. So, yeah. I don't know what that's all about, but, you know, we're just kind of going with it. And 
And she's decided she likes to get flies. Yeah. So I don't have too many flies in my house. I'm I'm pretty happy about that part. Just gonna tie those two right there. That way it won't come undone. I like these little scissors. They're just the right size. They're and they're not real heavy. Man, some of them other things I have are just totally heavy. Oh, we got that part done. So there's one, two, three, four, maybe five. Oh, there's one stitch right there, but I'm not going back for it right now. Right in that section. And then I'll start working on the other side. But it's got real pretty greens. Greens and creams. And teals. Golds. pretty green there so it does well for this some usually I'm not a, a green person I, I don't go after everything green it's usually everything blue you know how that is but I do like teal and turquoise of which this has a lot of worked anymore on my daughter's dragon I just hmm cannot it's just it's just one giant confetti mess and I'm gonna see if I can find another one only this time in uh what do you call it in 11 count instead of 14 it's a Joy Sunday pattern, but that doesn't mean anything. But it would be nice to find it in 11 count. It'd be a, a lot easier to stitch on. I bend that fabric, then I can't see this silly symbol I'm looking for. Come on. Because, of course, there's a blue symbol right next to it. So, no more grand plans for this weekend. Don't think I'll be going out much. I did sit out yesterday for about an hour and a half until my back started to hurt in that stupid chair. And stitched a little bit on that uh, on the lotus flowers I don't know what to call them they just seem odd to me the orange and red flowers <laughs> how's that goodness oops well that's attractive we're really paying attention today holy cow
And that last stitch, I went straight across instead of up and down. Oh, my Lord. Some days. I'm just not going back. Nope. But the stitch right over the top of it, everything is fine. And nobody will notice on a galloping horse. But this is nice soft material. So it might be one of the, the newer ones. I'm not sure. But it's very nice fabric. So at least you can gather it in your hands. Don't even think about it. It was acting like it was going to come right out of that needle. Very nice thread. I haven't had any problems with it at all. Alright guys. Well, thank you for joining me today in stitching and listening to a little history on cross stitch at least help us celebrate you know the world of cross stitch shall I say and stitching and being part of a legacy of women and men that have done cross stitch and embroidery and all kinds of things of that so we got that part done it just it, it's it's kind of symmetrical ish it's ish yeah so we'll see what happens over in here all right guys thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy whoops and we will see you next time god bless bye bye Keep stitching.